if you have a dry skin if you have an inflamed skin if you have an itchy skin this video is for you hey beauties welcome back to the channel my name is hope and on this channel we do all things skincare beauty diys lifestyles hair and in future we're thinking vlogs okay and if that seems like what you're interested in you're in the right place welcome and if this is your first time coming across this beautiful face please do want to hit the subscribe button and if you're a returning subscriber you know what it is i love you so in today's video we'll be treating dry itchy inflamed skin if that seems like what you're interested in then follow me while we jump right into the video i have divided this video into different steps to make it easier for the both of us you and i to understand okay and the first step is what are the causes of dry itchy skin because sometimes not sometimes most cases when your skin is extremely dry itchy there's every tendency that it gets inflamed yes so if we can identify the problems of these skin conditions definitely we can now bring up a solution and in this video apart from identifying the problems we're going to be talking about the solution because for every smoke there is definitely a fire so your dry itchy skin can be managed but first we have to talk about possible reasons why you haven't experienced in it in the first place and my number one culprit in this section will be bathing with hot water i'm sure you must have heard that before but you probably ignored it yes most of us know that hot water strips or if, in case you don't know, let, let me do you the, the honors of telling you that, sister, the hot water bath you are having is stripping your skin of its natural oils, thereby leaving your skin very dry. So I decided to put bathing with hot water as the number one cause because it's something that we commonly or, or ignorantly do without even knowing the effect on our skin. So if you are bathing with hot water, you might have to retrace your steps. There is a solution for that and I'm going to be telling you, you know, later in the video, but keep watching, take your notepads and be writing all these things down. So if there's anyone that you're doing that you're not doing right, there's room to adjust. Okay, and the second, the number two in this list will be long-term use of lightning products. Yes, yes, I know, right? Don't come for me. Long-term use of lightning products can actually cause your skin to dry out. Now, I want, to, I want to quickly say this. Most of the tips I'm giving you are things that I have known based on my experience. There's nothing I'm telling you now that I've not experienced because, baby, I'm a dry skin baby and I have been able to manage it, taking all these precautions. So if you are using a lightning product or if you've used a lightning product, long-term use of this product and actually dry out your skin because naturally lightning products can be very drying and dehydrating so this can cause your skin to you know get overly dry and even itchy if you've used it for a long period of time like i said there's a solution for everything number three is dehydration yes and that dehydration comes with also using dehydrating product dehydrating skincare product so sister your skin is dry or probably dry and itchy because you use products that dry out your skin and at overall you don't even hydrate your skin inside out so why will you not be going around looking like a stockfish yes there was a time i was actually feel looking like that it's not a bad thing because there's a solution for it okay so make sure that you are not dehydrating your skin that also leads your skin into excessive dryness and over time your skin will begin to itch and even flake is so the next one i don't know number what is this i've actually lost count because i'm enjoying talking to you guys but nevertheless we move <laughs> the next one is underlying skin conditions i'm not going to go further in this because i'm not, not a dermatologist and i'm not a medical practitioner so i really cannot advise you in this aspect but i what i can say is based on my experience there are a lot of health conditions that actually lead into skin um dryness and also itchy and even sometimes medications so moving on guys step two in this step we're going to be talking about measures to take to manage your dry 
itchy or inflamed skin following these simple steps you know these things we have all actually inculcated all these habits um that has actually dehydrated our skin so if we can fix the culprit and change our lifestyles our you know skincare habits or even healthcare habits it could also help us to fix the problem and number one i'll be talking about in this list to be please use cool water to have your bath yes but for those that would say no i'll catch a cold i'll do this i'll do that because i've heard people say they don't bathe with any other water apart from it being steaming hot and you don't know what you're doing to your skin like i said in the problems so now the solution to that is if you cannot use it if you cannot have a cold water bath then go for a warm water bath a lukewarm water yes that is better than having a hot water bath and number two will be always take a break from your lightning product see you are fine just know that you are beautiful i don't want to talk to you you're beautiful take a break sister you use from year to year to year to year you use from one lightning product to the next from one see i'm not trying to be judgmental like i said we've all been there i'm not even trying to judge you i'm only saying take a break sis by that time you're taking a break there are other things you can still do to help your skin to you know to recover from all the skincare products all that um lightning product that actually dries the skin and strip the skin of its natural oils so yeah give your skin that balance it needs it's not just lightening the skin it it also needs moisture it needs to be fed you know <laughs> number three stay hydrated see this should have even been my number one but for some reason it just appeared in number three so you drink lots of water and use hydrating skincare products yes use products that will moisturize your skin that will nurture your skin that will plump your skin drink lots of water keep drinking water you can't drink too much water have you ever heard any uh, doctor tell you or any medical practitioner tells you oh you drink too much water that is why you're sick no i've never heard that maybe if you've heard put in the comment section to tell me because i certainly do not know everything but from the little that i know i'm telling you that baby girl you're drinking little or no water that is why your skin is dehydrated and flaky and looking all sorts of way as little as water is it not only helps with a lot of medical um problems help fix medical problems it also helps in your skin care it makes helps hydrate your skin let me not talk too much because i'm losing my breath talking about this hydrating thing hydrate your skin and use hydrating skincare products drink lots of water go around with your water bottle if you have to stay hydrated that is a very great tip water is not expensive this is the, it can be the cheapest thing in your skincare do not ignore it stay hydrated and that will also help bring back the texture of your skin moving on so just something i would like to add also in this everything that i've been saying um you know soaps can be very dehydrating because of the um chemicals they use in, pro in producing it so please try and use hydrating soaps i have talked about moisturizers i've talked about moisturizing i've talked about a lot of things so let me quickly chip in that your soap this one cannot be neglected please the soaps we use are the biggest culprit in drying out our skins because soaps can actually dry your skin faster than any other because of this the chemicals they use in producing most of these soaps and unconsciously we just use this soap so try and use hydrating soaps if you have if you can get emollients yes good for you try and get emollients these soaps are specially formulated for um skins like yours and mine so let me quickly chip this in before i forget use a soap that will not strip your skin of its natural oils now moving on to the next one we're going to talk about um, moisturizers products that can be used to control or manage our skin back to you know a better condition how to manage your dry skin and then your skin can actually go from being very dry to you know i wouldn't promise you normal but then your skin can get a very good texture if you follow all these steps that i've mentioned now these are products that are proven and even clinically tested to you know work for this kind of skin condition because trust me dry skin is a condition i'm telling you from experience i've been there have you ever had an itchy skin that you're scratching and you're not even seeing rashes? you are just the skin is like your itching is so bad there's no rashes on it but you keep scratching that one can even run somebody mad so i'm talking from experience so these products have proven to be very very good for these conditions and the number one on my list will be the cerave daily moisturizer 
you can use either the cream or the lotion this is a very effective moisturizing lotion that moisturizes the skin and even helps restore the protective skin barriers and this has three ceramide and hyaluronic acid to help trap moisture into your skin this product is also good for normal skin to um, dry skin but this product moisturizes dry skin very very well the hyaluronic acid in it helps to lock in moisture into the, your skin hydrate and moisturize your skin and then it has three ceramides that are proven to help um, restore the protective skin barrier so if you're looking for a product that will help moisturize your skin that can also help with itchy dry skin then this product is a good one for you this product is fragrance free non comedogenic which means that it wouldn't clog your pores if you use it on your face so it can be used on your face as well yes because it's actually non-comedogenic so moving on the next one in no particular order is CeraVe Itch Moisturizing Lotion now just like the first one I mentioned this is also a very good moisturizer from the same product line CeraVe and this one is specially made for people with even eczema this product contains 1% Pramosin Hydrochloride with 3 essential ceramides which makes it a very good choice for dry, flaky, itchy skin and even eczema. This product effectively moisturizes dry skin and does well in restoring skin barrier. It is also steroid free and if you feel like your, your itchy dry skin, eczema skin because this is also very 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 good for eczema prone skin if you feel like your dry itchy skin needs urgent attention you don't have that you like you can't even wait anymore then you can go for the CeraVe each moisturizing lotion each relief moisturizing lotion as is the best product for you so one good thing about the CeraVe product is this product is actually developed with dermatology so it is well recommended by dermatologists the next product on this list will be the e45 moisturizing lotion yes this is also a very very good and effective moisturizer for dry flaky skin this product will hydrate your skin moisturize your skin you know don't forget that we talked about skin hydration so all this product that i've been mentioning to you is actually going to hydrate your skin and the e45 lotion or cream would do justice to your skin if you have skin dryness itchy skin or even flaky skin moving on the number four on my list will be the dermatological e45 cream this cream is dermatologically proven to treat itchy dry skin eczema and even other skin conditions it is formulated with great ingredients to help deeply moisturize your skin hydrate your skin and even treat all these skincare conditions that we have mentioned in this video so it's a very good choice for um your dry flaked skin it is deeply moisturizing you know this is not like your other regular moisturizers this one is actually dermatologically proven to manage all the skincare conditions that we have mentioned in this video and i wouldn't call dry skin a skincare condition it's just a skin type but then when it begins to itch and it begins to when it becomes very dry and it begins to itch and you know get inflamed into eczema or other types of skincare conditions then it becomes a skin problem and then this dermatological e45 cream will do justice to seeing that you get a well moisturized skin a well hydrated skin now all of these products can be found on amazon and also if you're in nigeria it can be found on jumia or on conga and if you've used any of this product and they really worked for you please put in the comment section tell me how the product worked if you've tried any other product that was not mentioned in this video that worked for dry flaky skin or even eczema skin please put in the comment section as i would also like to learn more so with all this being said if you have tried all of this and nothing worked please visit your dermatologist as i'm not a dermatologist or a medical practitioner as some of these um, skin uh, issues like i mentioned earlier in the video can be caused by an underlying health condition so sometimes or even medications sometimes it takes a toll on our skin if you found this video helpful please do want to hit the subscribe button and also if you've experienced any skin damage using lightning products you might want to watch this video right here on how to repair damaged skin caused by skincare products 
If you found this video helpful, please do well to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're here to subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.